everyone, thanks for stopping by. Um, so I feel like I mention my upcoming wedding every week, but it's all of my time is kind of spent on it right now. So um, this week I'm doing a wedding related tutorial and it's for um, making garters. And I'll actually be making three garters before my wedding. There'll be the throwaway garter, which is the one used in the garter toss. And then the garter that I'm actually going to wear the entire time and then keep as a keepsake and I'm also making an arm garter for Jeremiah so um, these garters aren't just for weddings you can make one and wear it to prom or wear it to like a costume party or something like that um, I'm using a formal skirt that my mom made for me in the seventh grade because it just happens to be the right color and matches goes well with my wedding colors so for the budget, the material was free. I used about a half a yard of elastic, it's about 50 cents. Lace and other embellishments, if you didn't have these things already and went out and bought them, you'd probably spend like 50 cents. So in total, making this project is a dollar. The materials you'll need is fabric, elastic, a measuring tape, straight pens, lace and other embellishments, thread, scissors, and it's useful to have a rotary cutter and a rotary mat and ruler, an iron, and of course your sewing machine. I started this project by changing the needle in my sewing machine. Since I'm using nice fabric and want my project to turn out really nice, I'm using a brand new needle. Measure around where you want to wear your garter. I'm measuring below my knee because that's where the throwaway garter will be worn. I figured out that for the size of the elastic and lace I'm using, I need a strip of fabric that is 3 inches tall and my leg measurement was 13 inches, so I'm cutting the fabric about 23 inches long to leave room for gathers. Once you've cut your strip, fold it in half right sides together and pen. Sew down the long side, turn right side out and iron, cut your lace the same length as your tube. Mine is really wide so I'm cutting it in half. Pen in place and sew closely down both edges of the tube. Cut your elastic to fit where you want to wear your garter. I think mine is about 11 or 11 and a half inches. Then feed through the casing. Pin the elastic ends so they are even with the ends of the casing. Sew to hold the elastic in place. Then turn one end under about half an inch over the other end and top stitch. You can embellish your garter or wear it as is. Well, now that I've completed my throwaway garter, I have two more to go and they're all going to be just a little bit different from each other and so I'll make a video showing all three when I'm done with them. And please don't forget that I'm having the YouTube yard sale on my other channel and come back next week for another Whitney Sews video. Bye!